Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are still running the original release of Windows 11 version 21H2, then there's also a Patch Tuesday update made available, KB5025224, which bumps the build up to 22,000.1817 and was also made available on the, uh, the 11th of April 2023. Now, there's quite a lot of overlap um, between Windows 11, 21H2 and 22H2, but nonetheless, um, just to do a video to keep you updated and in the loop if you are still running version 21H2. Now, obviously, the Patch Tuesday updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month are mainly security um, updates. So, uh, for Windows 11, 21H2, it's exactly the same um, regarding the security updates that rolled out for 22H2. But nonetheless, just to do a recap, uh, there are a total of 59 vulnerabilities, 54 are important, and five critical vulnerabilities have been fixed and addressed. And those five critical vulnerabilities are all remote code execution flaws, which means a hacker or an attacker can gain access uh, to your system through the internet or over a network. So um, important to uh, check you get the update sooner than later. So total of 59 vulnerab vulnerabilities have been addressed for Windows 11 version 21H2. Now, um, if you didn't uh, install the optional update for Windows 11 21H2 KB5023774, which was the March optional bug fix update that rolled out near the end of last month, uh, then those improvements will be carried over into this update. And just to go through those quickly, um, the update improves the search box experience on the taskbar. So as you type in the search box, uh, the search results now appear in the search flyout box. And um, the same fix has rolled out uh, to version 21H2 for the notepad that was available for version 22H2. Uh, the combo box settings uh, in Notepad, uh, the combo box in settings, uh, those combo boxes were failing to show the available options, so that bug has been addressed. And it also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft PowerPoint. Apparently, it wasn't responding um, when users were using um, accessibility tools. And the update also addresses an issue that affects USB printers. This also rolled out for Windows 10. Apparently, the system was classifying um, USB printers in certain cases as multimedia devices, even though they were not, which uh, isn't a good thing. And if you're an Xbox subscriber, um, it addresses an issue for Xbox subscribers that if you purchased an Xbox subscription using the redeem code option, the uh, subscription card did not appear on the settings accounts page. So that, has been, that bug has been addressed. And uh, this new um, feature has rolled out for Windows 10, Windows 11, 22H2, and has now also made its way to version 21H2 of Windows 11. Uh, the update implements the new Windows local administrator password solution as a Windows in inbox feature, which is also known as LAPS, L-A-P-S for short. And then um, just to go through one or other two quality improvements that have rolled out specific to uh, the update for Windows 11 21H2 for April. Um, the update affects the Arab Republic of Egypt. Um, the update supports the government daylight saving time change order for 2023. That also rolled out for Windows 10. Uh, there's also a compatibility issue which um, was occurring because of unsupported use of the registry. And the update, the update addresses a known issue that affects uh, kiosk device profile, so that's mainly geared towards um, corporations and enterprises. And it also um, ups, updates the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. And um, that's more or less what's um, new and what has rolled out for the um, security update for Patch Tuesday for Windows 11 version 21H2 update KB5025224. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.